Hello everyone. In this video, we will see the construction steps of a bird created using Curio Spark Kit. Let's go to step one. In step one, we take one C plate, one double bar, and connect it using two nuts and bolts here, one here, one here. Then we also connect a DC motor along with motor shaft. And here it is not shown, but we put a spacer onto this motor shaft. We also connect one one inch bolt and nut tightly at this place and one more one inch bolt and nut tightly at this place. These two act as fulcrum points. Let's go to step two. In step two, we create three single bar assemblies. We take one single bar and to that at this end, we connect a flat rotator using 1.5 inch bolt. That is this bolt. This is connected in the beginning, tightly connected here. Then we take one more flat rotator. Through one of the circular holes of the flat rotator, we put one inch bolt and nut and connect tightly to that. Then we put one spacer onto that bolt. And that bolt is inserted through the second hole of this flat rotator. And here a nut is connected, but it is loosely connected this nut. I'll repeat again. We take one flat rotator to that rotator through one hole. We attach tightly one inch bolt and nut. And on that bolt, we put one spacer. Then that bolt we insert through this hole of the flat rotator, the first flat rotator and connect using a nut but loosely. We also connect one flat rotator using 1.5 inch bolt and nut at this end. Now this is push pull rod of a bird robot. And these two are going to be our pendulum rods, two pendulum rods because we have two wings for a bird. This we'll call as assembly A. Then we create two pendulum rods. There's a small difference between these two pendulum rods. You can see the two flat rotators here, two flat rotators here, but here there is a gap between the flat rotators. Here there is no gap. So here we take one single bar, connect one flat rotator using one nut and bolt here so that it creates one hole. Connect second flat rotator using one nut and bolt here. Now in this, the hole is at this place. The bolt is connected in this slit, whereas the hole is in this bigger slit. Now this you might need to adjust a bit based on the movement of the wings. So we call this as assembly B. Then we take one more single bar, connect one flat rotator using one nut bolt here, connect another flat rotator using one more nut bolt here. We call this as assembly C. Now these three assemblies we are going to connect to our first assembly in step three. Here is our assembly A. We have put a spacer onto the motor shaft, which was not shown if you remember in step one. That is what we have put here. And then we have inserted the square hole of this dangling flat rotator onto that motor shaft, the square hole and locked it using the shaft lock. We use second assembly B and connected using a nut to the fulcrum point, which was on this double bar and the circular hole, which was present here. And that is connected using a nut which is loosely coupled. Similarly, we take assembly C, connect it using a nut to the fulcrum point on the double bar. The nut is connected loosely because these are joints. Then all these three assemblies A, B, C are connected using one inch bolt and nut. Nut is loosely coupled because that is also a joint. Now we move on to step number four. We take two rectangular plates. One rectangular plate, we connect this side using two bolts and nuts here. Similarly, the other rectangular plate is connected on the other side of the C plate. Then we take two square plates and using one nut and bolt, we connect this square plate this side. Using one more nut and bolt, we connect the second square plate on the second side. In step five, we are connecting the wings. We take a rectangular plate. And using L connectors, we connect it to pendulum rods, the single bars which we had. 
Similarly, on this side also, we take one rectangular plate and we connect it using two L connectors and four nuts and bolts. Step six, we connect the tail and it is made of a double bar connected to the body using one L connector and two nut bolts this side, one L connector and two nut bolts on the other side. In step seven, we take one C plate and we connect L plate to that C plate using two nuts and bolts here, two nuts and bolts here and two more nuts and bolts to the body here and two on the other side. That completes step seven and now move on to step eight. In step eight, we just do some prop work. We want this to look like a bird. So we take one big gear, connect a flat connector using a nut bolt here as if it is a beak connect 1.5 inch bolt and nut and one spacer to give a feel of an eye and this complete thing we connect using one inch bolt which is inserted from the square plate on the other side then we insert two spacers then the gear another two spacers and then the bolt comes out this side and it's locked using a nut tightly so that gives a head and beak of the bird and that completes our bird. When we connect the motor with the remote control here, this push-pull rod will move up and down and these two pendulum rods will oscillate, giving a feel of bird flapping its wings. I hope you enjoy making this robot. Do write your experiences in the comment section below and happy making.